Hello there guys, welcome back to a short online tutorial. Today we're based in Adobe Illustrator and it's your good friend Jack from Blue Sky Graphics back again to show you some really cool stuff. What I want to do today guys is show you how to ungroup your digital illustrations within Illustrator. It's very wise for you to group elements up. The main benefit is, is what you're able to do is use several elements, group them up and treat them as a single one. For example, here I have this illustration that I created earlier. And as you can see, when I click it, everything is selected. But what I would like to do is individually change elements within this particular um, digital illustration. So now if I select this here, and we come to our layers, you can see if I open up this layer here, we've created a group. And all the elements that create this illustration here are within this particular group. And what I would like to do is to ungroup and be able to, like I say, edit, change individual elements. What you must do is make sure you select your element here. And then there are several ways to ungroup. You can either go right click, ungroup. What you can also do with it selected again is go to Object, Ungroup. But as you can see, there is a keyboard shortcut to do that, which is Shift, Shift Command G for Mac users and for Windows users, that'll be Shift Control G. So if I select this now and press the shortcut Shift Command G as I'm a Mac user, now this element should be ungrouped. So if I was to click our nose here, as you can see, this element now is able for me to move it, change it, edit it. If I was to come through now and change the color, which I can do, and then we can place that back there like so. I would like to select and change the color of the eyes. So I've just clicked that eye there. I can shift and click those two um, elements together now so I can change the color of these if I wanted to do that. I can take the smile. Let's give her some red lips. Let's take the eyebrows. Yeah, again, I'm gonna select, select that one, press shift and select this one. But this time I'm gonna use the same color as the nose here. So I'm gonna press the keyboard shortcut I for our eyedropper tool or is situated here. And I can click here like so. Very nice, lovely. Now you can see here the whole face is now selected. So what I may do just if I wanted to individually select and color the, the face there, is I may use the blob paint brush tool here. Let's pick a sort of a skin kind of color, let's say here, let's press cancel. I just need to deselect and click off. There we go, let's use that tool there. And we're going to use a skin color. There we are, let's press okay. And I'm just gonna increase the size of that tool by double clicking on it and come into our size option here, or there is a keyboard shortcut to do that as well, which is uh, the brackets located next to P on the keyboard. If you go right, that will make it smaller. And if you use the right one, that will make it bigger. So I'm just gonna make it smaller here. And I'm just gonna come through now and start to really color that space in. Make sure you stay within the black lines. Don't worry if you're going over the black lines because we'll be rearranging the layers very shortly. So just bear with me, make sure you're careful guys and don't leave any white spaces because you really want the um, digital illustrations to look really sort of professional and you don't want to miss any spots. So just take your time. Like so I'm coming through here, just finishing up that little section there and in here as well. And I'm just going to use the keyboard shortcuts to three keys the size of this here. The reason why that went smooth there, guys, is because if you double click the tool, I've got the fidelity to super smooth. So that's basically Illustrator helping you determine really small, uh, smooth lines. But as you can see, all you need to do is just come through and just top this up here. A little bit smaller, let's come into this section here as well. There we are, we're just gonna come around here as well. And we're gonna come in here as well, and in a little bit in there and there. Okay, so we just need to select everything. So I'm just gonna press shift and click now. So click, sorry, click to the first element, um, but I need to shift click this one here to select that also as well. Like so, that one there, that one there. That 
んね。だからね。Right, let's go right click, arrange, center back. There we are, nice. And I might just come through with that little tool there and just do a little one in there. Like so, let's select the little element I created. Right click, arrange, center back. This one as well, we need to send this to the back. Right click, arrange, center back. So you can see how you can really sort of color in your elements. I think this one needs to go to the back as well. There we are. And there you have it, guys. That's how you ungroup your layers professionally within Adobe Illustrator to allow you to create your digital illustrations and make them really, really nice. I just noticed a little section there. It's going to come through, guys. Like so there we are. And select it yet again. Right click, arrange, center back. And there you have it, guys. If you're interested in finding out more about the school, the courses that we offer, please take a look at our website at bluescrygraphics.co.uk. Thank you very much, guys. Take care, and I'll see you next time.